Hello again and welcome back. Thank you for tuning into the Batuta Advocate radio show or downloading our podcast if you're one of our loyal listeners from outside the Diamond Tina Shire. My name is Errol Parker and sitting alongside me, as always, is my friend, my colleague, Clancy Overell. Yes, thank you for tuning in again. This week we are coming to you live from the harbour hellhole that is Sydney City. We're down here because the Batuta Advocate Roadshow is coming to a close and we've just got the trough, aka Canberra, and the Developers Republic of Sydney to go before we head back into our desert home for the time being. Join us for the last two shows if you live in that part of the world and we'll take you behind the scenes of our unique and authentic brand of regional journalism. A brand of journalism you don't get from these elite sandstone uni grads who write 2,000 word think pieces about toxic masculinity, Clancy. Spot on, Errol. Too many of these young kids are coming through and they've never really been further west than Indrapilly or Newtown, nor Fitzroy, for that matter, Footscray. So that's why uh, Central Queensland University are proud to be the sponsor of the podcast this week. And despite their name, they do have campuses all across the country, not just in places like Rocky and Bundy. Yes, that's right. They're all over the mainland and they pride themselves on being a practical uni that gives people the skills they need. So if you are looking to study... Be what you want to be with CQ University. Yes, thank you to CQ University for getting behind the podcast this week. Very good to have you on board. Now this week we've got a couple of very funny people and friends of the show joining us for a chat. That's right, we've got comedians Becky Lucas and Cameron James on the podcast today. They've just released a new show uh, on the ABC called Be Your Own Boss. Uh, It's part of that pilot season that they do, Clancy. And I can tell you personally, it is very, very funny. Yes, they are They are very funny. They, they were very funny in here. So certainly give it a watch. And um, look, the two of them have just left our studios. So I'll take the chance to warn you. First, our listeners, we are dealing with full-blown stand-up comics in this interview. So expect the podcast to take a few tangents through their non-stop verbal improv and also expect a fair bit of explicit language yes lots and lots of explicit language dark overtones lots of chat about murder and the darker side of humanity but enough about that let's get into it you're listening to errol parker and clancy overall editors of the batuta advocate on desert rock fm well, here we are. The Batuta Advocate Roadshow is on the home stretch, the premiership lap, uh, if you will. Uh, we've only got Canberra and the Sydney Opera House to go. Llewellyn Hall, 30th of November, and of course the Opera House Concert Hall on the 1st of December. And we're spending a bit of time in New South Wales now. We've just come up from Adelaide, and we are sitting here in Sylvania Waters, uh, peak, peak Australian suburbia, uh, not far from ScoMo. Uh, I think it's actually square in his electorate. It is, is in his electorate, yeah. We're, we're in his electorate, and we have an Airbnb, and it's a beautiful rendered brick uh, five-better with um, no aspect whatsoever, but it's got an incredible home cinema and non-stop air conditioning and a cool room near the pool, which is pretty much all we were after. And we thought, what better way to celebrate officially living it up than by having two of arguably Australia's most suburban comedians. Um <laughs> Yeah, we like to be comfortable. Yeah. We like to lay out on the modular lounge. Sure. That's it. That's what it's all about. (laughs) We have a shag pile rug. (laughs) I've got three salt lamps. What more do you want? And you teenage (laughs) You know that that they're made in Pakistan by like slave children. Yeah. Salt lamps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love those little buggers. (laughs) (laughs) I wish them the best. So this is Cameron James um, and Becky Lucas. Uh, Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us. Thanks G'day. for having us. Good to be back. Good to be back. I have been on this podcast You are before. our first repeat guest mm-hmm. on the Batuta Advocate well, Radio Show. Makes sense. And it's great to actually do this um, in the East Coast uh, on, the, on, on the seaboard because last time obviously was in Batuta when you were mm-hmm. coming through I was passing through, through cheating yeah. through. Actually back to your old man's old stomping ground where mm. he worked as a jackaroo for many years yep. before he vandalised the Batuta Hotel with his ute, mm-hmm. which we touched on last time. Took off and now he's a Brisbane uh, property developer. Yeah, that's so, a fucking living. Though. That's aspirations. Rags to riches. Rags right to riches. That's a notch above <laughs> Sylvania Waters, actually, where your old man's at now. He's yeah. He's in a city kind of cafe boomer, right? Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. Be- real Becky's, hero. Becky's dad's a millionaire, by the way. Everyone, uh, we've we've since learned over the years. <laughs> yep. Dad, it stands for d- 
the 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 the. Where's the stand for? Stands for the dot. It stands for the. It stands for the Australian dollar. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it says for. So, how much money have you come from, Cameron? <laughs> I come from uh, blue collar and blue balls <laughs> background. Uh, no, no, I'd say recent white collar. That's yeah. my my family. That's like nice. mum's a teacher, dad's an, an engineer. That's so the, the industrial revolution was very kind to your family. Very kind uh, indeed. But I come from oak stock. My granddad worked for the oak company. <laughs> milk. Uh, the, what oak is milk. milk. <laughs> the oak milk. The oak milk. loved chalky milk. He oh. loved chalky. My my granddad loved the chalky milk. So, were you from South Australia or where, Newcastle? Big, oh, yeah. right, right. big big milk, big milk big vibe milk there. Area. On the way up there, there's that big oak sign that we yes, passed on. I do remember on the way up to the Newcastle show. Yes, yes yeah. that is. And uh, apparently, they make their chocolate milk out of the river that runs past it. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, in yeah. Wickham, that area. That's where yeah. they get the milk from. You know what's so crazy? There's still adults in this day and age who can drink. A milk drink mm. and not shit their pants. Mm. Well, What's we were, going on there? We were just in Adelaide, and this is a funny <laughs> fact. This is yeah. very obscure. They love their own like local confectionery down mm. there. And in every city in the world, the number one non-alcoholic beverage is Coca-Cola, mm. except for Adelaide. You're mm-hmm. wrong there again. In... <laughs> In Glasgow, it's oh, yeah, Iron sorry. Brew. Iron Brew. Where was he, oh, when God. was he first wrong? No, no, the big, no every capital in Australia. <laughs> was he wrong earlier in the day? Yeah, yeah. Well, they're all born wrong. It's called original sin. Oh, if true. you come from Catholic stock, you know that. Mm. So, um, yeah. Yes, but in South Australia, it is Farmers Union iced coffee, number one oh, alcoholic beverage. Senior. And they drink it in the heat. They That's drink crazy. it in, <laughs> at, on the work sites, fucking everywhere. So, why are some people so sensitive to milk and others aren't? You so know, I used to on? be, but I've come out the other end of it. Have you? <laughs> you were born <laughs> sensitive to milk I don't and you think were I an oak born stock. To it. I was born a milk lover and then I went through a funny tummy phase Do you know that lasted what? I about think 10 years. This is happening to me too because I've gone back to full milk cappuccinos and yeah. I feel great. I feel great about it too. I had a chalky milk the other day. <laughs> and it was fine? Fine. Oh my God. And I was really worried. I What's drank it on the bus. Is <laughs> that <laughs> <laughs> so bad? But I was really worried it was going to be a problem, but it was yeah. fine. I think I, I sort of know what you mean. Mm. Anyway. Anyway, um, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll continue. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, for Becky. Email. Last time on the podcast, we learnt uh, that you grew up in Brisbane's famed, infamous uh, Bayside suburbs, yeah, um, Victoria Point, <laughs> not far from the ferry over to Stratty. If you yep. feel like fighting a couple of locals, so inclined. If if so inclined. Um, now you've come a long way from you know the. As we said, the the tight ponytail with the hair gel and the little mm-hmm. strand down the front, slut strands, slut strands, if you will. <laughs> you said it. Um, I'm allowed are we allowed to say, to say it? it? Yeah, I give you permission. Can you okay. say it? Cool. Okay, I'm going to say it. I just go say it. Would've... Just maybe later. Okay, wait. No, go, everyone, go quiet so Cameron can say it. Slut. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, and actually, you've since made it. Yeah. As of last sure. night. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. can you tell us a little bit about what happened there? Um, well, I got to do my comedy show at the Opera House, at the Sydney Opera House, which is pretty cool, you know. I think I was telling you, like, because it feels, it does feel like um, a conquest when you come from Queensland mm-hmm. to perform in, you know, like it's like the most recognisable. Mm-hmm. Powderfinger haven't even done it. They haven't, they haven't played there. That's Lab. what fucking losers. I know. <laughs> As if you wouldn't have played the, the opera house. <laughs> they didn't want to. They said, no, we'd rather play the Horden Pavilion. We'd rather do that. <laughs> well, you know what? That means everyone in this room, because you guys are about to play the opera house. Cameron opened for me last night. Mm. Or I closed for him. Well, whatever way you want to look yeah. at it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, we've all performed at the opera house. Opera so house if you alarm. haven't and you're listening to this, honestly... Fucking die. I don't even know how to explain how it felt. I'd never done it before. No, that's not true. I was on stage there once as a part of the Irrational Fear podcast. (laughs) So I guess I had played it before. Yes, okay. But last night, to return to that hollowed, hallowed ground as a stand up, opening for one of my best friends, (laughs) a feeling I can't even. Can't, can't even sh- put it to us, but try. Okay. <laughs> really good. It felt really good. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. fun. What kind of things do you do pre-show just to settle just your nerves? Around. Do you chain smoke? Do you? No, I've stopped smoking okay. as of last Friday. <laughs> do you chew gum? Do you <laughs> drink nah. heaps of alcohol? Or? No. I, Can I, you tell I, us? Becky had a couple of wines and then we... We, j- we joked around. Joked around... People came into the room and left. We made fun of them as we saw fit. (laughs) 
really, it's just yeah, Becky we... likes to laugh a lot before she goes on the stage, so she feels like she's in a funny mood. Yeah, I like to be funny. Can like you tell it. us for what you had in your rider? Just like some white wine and beers. Yeah, Bogues. yeah. Nothing. What, what, what was that face? What do you guys have? Pistachios. Really? Shelled, of course. Hunt. We've got <laughs> pistachios, cashew nuts. We've got an assortment of dips. Some what kind jats. of dips are we talking yeah, about? Yeah, well, we've got, got, can I say you guys got, both look like you fucking porked up after the tour? So, yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> no, so okay. true. No, it's true. We've got the five foot pants. Yeah. We've been living that Bain yeah. Marie life. It's, uh, it's I bought. <laughs> I bought a new suit before the tour was on, and now the, the top button's real snug. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. he didn't buy it. We got dressed by Harold, so thank you, Harold, for that. Um, Harold from Neighbours? <laughs> <laughs> he dressed us. <laughs> Times are tough. A couple of Times are tough for Ramsey <laughs> Street. <laughs> and you yeah. might grow into this. Trust me, I know a thing or two about writers and crudité. <laughs> what kind of dips did you get? You didn't explain to me. We got some supermarket guacamole. Oh, no. And we got some olive hummus. Yeah, I mean this. And okay. we've also got uh, some cool mints and some three X peppermints. Two and types of mints. Are you yeah. serious? Uh, uh, yeah. I'd love it if after the tour you owe a carton of four X gold money. <laughs> and a carton of local beer. Yeah, just whatever the local brewery is. Yep. Yeah. Like yeah. last night we we're Craft in. Craft or well, I'm a little like more DTE than you guys. If you know and what we had Coopers. What? Down, I'm a bit more DTE. Oh, yeah. No, we're obviously taking advantage of the yeah. one and only tour. And that tour means down, down to eat ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not yeah, what you this is the was. first and last tour that, that we're doing, so we thought it was like... <laughs> Becky you know. does have ass on her rider, though, so she yeah. has to eat the local ass. Yeah, just... the ass of the dankest localist person. And she hates it. I don't uh, know why she keeps doing it. I think it's funny or it could be funny. It's not. It's really fucking... <laughs> it's... it's really gross. True. Yeah. We we um, we actually at Hamer Hall reached new heights of... Um, New money uh, with French onion dip. Mm, I yeah. love, you know, I bought a French onion the other yeah. day. I actually left it in your fridge. Did you? Cameron. Well, I'll be snacking on that later yeah, on. Yeah, I bought some jats and, and the French onion dip and I fucking loved it. Or Savoy, as we've Yeah, learned, Savoy's I'm not a Savoy fan. Savoy's, Why? Uh, yeah, no, it's just not the same. I don't know. It feels stale or something. It does. <laughs> Someone explained to me at once, apparently there's malt in jats, but it's not in Savoy. Malt is the answer. Right. That's ah. what they're doing right over at Arnott's. <laughs> So you guys have a podcast. Mm-hmm. Barely, mm. but we do. We, roll, we let the mics roll while we do our normal bullshit. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Some it's would fun. describe it as platonic flirting. Sure. Mm, I guess so. Or almost it's, it's like functional brotherly. rivalry. Functional rivalry. We like to think that we are in constant competition. Like, we're, we're, well, how do we describe it once? We're like... We both... Um, the big difference between Becky and I is that... Um, Becky thinks she's right, but I also think I'm right. Yeah, we both think that we're smarter than each other. <laughs> yeah. No, I think we, we described it as being like we're enemies, but in order to keep an eye on each other, we've decided to be friends. Sure. Like to keep our eye on each other as we are on our ascent. I get it. <laughs> There's a lot of love There's there. a lot of love. Yeah. So with that love comes uh, when you work together, mm-hmm. you have permission to snap at each other. We have yeah. snapped at each other. We've and snapped. give us a rundown on one of those scenarios and who was in the wrong. <laughs> well, we'll, well, we'll never both... get an answer to that yeah. second part. Because <laughs> it's all about perspective. It is. We've had a few fights. I think maybe um, the most recent one probably <laughs> comes to mind. What was that? During the Fringe Festival, we oh. had a pretty rough show together. Oh, shit. And then we, had the... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 and then we spent... Probably an hour and a half, an hour passive aggressively <laughs> sniping at each other, and then but and then half an hour of real fighting. I called him a up, bad word. Don't she call me a bad word that I can't say. I called him a bad word. And I called her a little cunt or something as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, so her word was worse. Than that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I don't. Yeah, it was I like, think cunt's a beautiful word and a beautiful yeah. thing. Uh, yeah. And then we spent. Probably two hours after that, just laughing about the whole thing because it really blew up, and then we just kept drinking white wines throughout the whole thing. From, yeah, from from being tetchy with each other to being outwardly aggressive to mm. making up and being best of friends again. Yeah. We had about four white wines. It, it was d- quite there fun. was no <laughs> triggers though. Like even through the good bit later that night, there was no like, well, we can go back there if you want. No, no I don't think so. We just sort of started we making fun it. of other people. Yeah, we took it out on other people. I think what it comes down to <laughs> is that we're both very stubborn, and neither of us want to admit that we're wrong about anything yeah and i know especially when i know that i'm not wrong (laughs) like it's hard to admit something that you're not (laughs) well i wouldn't know but um (laughs) 
Yeah, anyway. Will you guys fight? Have you guys ever fought? We I think we, no, we, our our star signs are are, are very compatible. But mm. so are ours. Do you know mm. that? Do you know we both have the same star signs? Yeah, I know, except the star signs also um don't really oh, yeah. mean much when you start talking Remember, about introverting. I, you got yeah. that from our podcast, right. you little yeah. shit. You what? got that information. He got that information. You got the star sign the, info. The, the cancer Who's, Scorpio. You, uh, one of you, Your Cap- cancer. Capricorn. Yeah. Your cancer. Yeah, I'm Capricorn. Both You're astrologically Capricorn. and socially. <laughs> yeah. I'm a proud cap. She's a cancer. I'm a cancer. Cap and, and cancer. And that's actually, that is very compatible. It's a soulmate connection. Yeah. yeah. but yeah. we And we do think we're soulmates. We are soulmates. Yeah. And arguably mm. you spend more time together than we do, right? We nah, spend no way. Probably about equal. I'd if say. not less. You guys are together really? every day. Are you serious? Yeah. Do you two work every day? No. No, not every day. Opposite each other and then go on tour for a fucking month. <laughs> yeah. I hope to. I hope to. Do Someday. Well, yeah. look, you're closing for me now. So. Yeah, yeah. so wait, you guys don't fight? No. Not really. We do. Keep, we have snapped. a team around us. We have a newsroom around us and there's a lot more people to vent on before. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Guess, mm. Which is... Which That's is good. it's just great for us. Not maybe so we should get a dog record. that we can take out our we aggression should. on. We fight yeah. rarely. I'd say yeah. it's like every six months. There's a fight. Yeah. But if you got a dog, you could just belt the dog, yeah. and then it'd be done. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, easy. Love to. Love to. That's the best thing about having a dog yeah. is you're yeah. just allowed to treat them like dirt. <laughs> <to> <laughs> they can't the say backyard. anything. Yeah, they can't. Not yet. <laughs> Like, That's yeah. what I've been, like, uh, I've been talking about. Not how, yet. When not dogs yet. will talk soon. They will. Oh, God. With this and they'll be really culture. problematic, too. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to get it put down because <laughs> yeah. like, he doesn't believe in the Holocaust. Every dog doesn't <laughs> see trans people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Whoops. what we were talking about. Like, I have this bit of, at the moment about dogs. That they can smell like four, up to four different types of cancer. But they can't. Tell they don't you. say peep. <laughs> they don't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> You're like dying, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're just yeah. like, oh, rah, rah, rah. just like feed me. Maybe yeah. I'll tell you where the fucking cancer. Is. Yeah. You got cancer, bitch. <laughs> just pissing on your rug and stuff. Um, can you tell us a little bit now that we've got two of you in the room and you can egg each other on? Because I think we've asked Becky this, but have you experienced people copying your shit? <laughs> Oh, yeah, big time. I think a little bit, yeah. Well, but, you guys have obviously seen a lot of that, people ripping you guys. Well, and you guys off. have obviously the, been ripping us off, and that's why we're lots, here. We get deep there's in lots podcast, of regional newspapers. <laughs> you know, there's there's lots of regional newspapers around the country, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. but there's only, you know, one of you two each. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I think everyone, like, what nothing's original. No. You know, there's stuff Kem and I are doing that I'm sure we've drawn upon other people. Like, we could be... I just feel like everyone copies everyone. I know. I, yeah. hate, I, I do feel like... Um, I hate cunts who claim to be original. Yeah. Know, like There's just no cunt. such thing. You've no. absorbed it from somewhere, you exactly. idiot. Exactly. Yeah. And, and and would you say everything's forgivable until a certain point, right? Yeah. I mean, some things rub, rub, rub you the wrong... I think if I what know. they're doing... If someone's copying you and it is in no way a reflection of their actual personality, then that's crossing the line. Yeah. yeah. But if it's if they see something in you that they also see in themselves and they just amp up that side of themselves, yeah. that's like yeah. that's fine. Everyone kind of does that. But Especially there are, in yeah. comedy, you you see the people that you like and and you go, I'm gonna. That reminds me of me. I'm mm-hmm. gonna start amping up that. Like me with Louis C.K. I really, <laughs> <laughs> I really started amping up a certain side of myself. Yeah, yeah. In the yeah. last and sort of six to eight months, amping yeah. up is what Cameron calls getting his dick hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's my pre-stage ritual, which Becky has experienced, obviously. Yeah. And, and I don't really care. She's fine. I'm with just it. like one of those cool chicks. It's just like, yeah. <laughs> like come one on my face backstage. Like, Whatever, like, just do it. You know, I just go with the flow. <laughs> and it does flow. <laughs> sadly. Very runny semen. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. It sounds like you must be drinking your milk then. Yeah. I'm yeah, an yeah. oak boy. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us, uh, oak boy. <laughs> New project with the two of you on screen. Mm-hmm. Um, is every single stand-up comedian capable of being an actor? Because it appears that way. Um, I don't know. You guys aren't thespians, though, and you, but no. you're great on screen. Yeah. I don't know. I think... I don't know how to answer that. I don't yeah. think every comic is a good actor. Like, yeah. And a lot of people don't care about acting either. They wouldn't yeah. want to do it. Yeah. But um, I, I don't even think I'm a very good actor. Like, I feel like I'm able to do what we write. I can do something that I've written. Yeah. I don't really think I can like take on a character or someone else. Yeah. I, anytime I audition for something, I never get it really. I, mm. I don't think I'm good with other people. No, you're stuff. a good actor, Cam. But I'm uh, same really as good. you. I'm good at doing like what we do. Yeah. I think. No, Cam's a good actor. No. I've seen you act. You're good. You're a good actor. Thank you. <laughs> I'm acting humble. <laughs> yeah, um, probably not. 
<laughs> Probably not. But like, you know, Becky and I are both psychopaths who um, end up doing characters off stage for ages yeah, yeah. anyway, yeah. like talking to each other in characters. So yeah. it's not really acting what we're yeah. doing. We're just doing the same thing in front of a camera. Just mucking around. Um, tell us a bit about the pilot. Well, first of all, um, would you like to give us a compliment? Have you watched it? I, I think I just opened this whole thing by saying you're great actors. Yeah. Right? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I need it to be a little clearer than that. <laughs> oh, can we get some AC pumping through here or what? No, I'm just kidding. It's right. I think we have it. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's on now. It's on now. <laughs> It's so funny when you say yeah, something affect- earnest and then you act like you're kidding. <laughs> yeah. Will it affect the sound quality? No. Do not edit one. this out. This is the real shit people want to hear. People love to hear about people people's hear. minor uncomfortability. I'm slip sliding on this chair. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating. Okay. Um, the pilot. Is that going to... Should we turn it off? No, it's all no, good. That's all right. Really? It doesn't get picked up. Really? Yeah. No. It's fo- Look. Okay. It, How it, much it, did you spring for that AC? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for Koala Mattress for sponsoring the podcast. <laughs> and um, yeah, what's the name of your pilot? <laughs> yeah. Can I do? Can I do a read for Koala? Koala, we love them. We know them. We see them up in the top of trees. Well, do you know how good it feels to not be in the top of a tree? Being on a mattress. <laughs> Made of yep. koalas. Made of koalas. And, and not being eaten by a dog. Yeah. And that's what happens <laughs> to lots of koalas. <laughs> what? <laughs> when they hit the ground. <laughs> yeah, that's... Have you, know. you, ever, felt, dogs have you ever felt like of, you're getting ripped yeah, from limb to limb? They just get eaten by dogs. Mm, wild yeah. dogs. That's a big issue. <laughs> and then the dogs get chlamydia <laughs> yeah. Yeah. from the koala's penis touching its mouth. That's so And the gross. dogs never, can't tell their owners that they've the got dick. chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> it's a two-way got street. chlamydia yeah. or, oh, I don't know who, but <laughs> not my dog, so don't think about it. <laughs> um, koala mattress, thank you so Actually, much, you look guys. like you're freaking out. I'm not. I'm, I'm great. I... I we're going to run this. We're, yeah, de- having a skid, yeah. we're derailing this. No, perfect, no, it's great. Perfect I'll, pod. No, no. It's, okay, just, Becky, what's okay. the name of our pilot? Just it's called Be Your Own Boss, BYOB. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, it's playing on the you know amazing streaming service that is ABC iView. It's really easy to use. You just go in, you have to type the full name into the search bar. You've got to hope it doesn't crash. <laughs> You've got to type fresh blood, colon, and then the full name of the thing, and then it'll come up. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Depends on the day. Yeah, and then they've sort of snuck ours to the back, so you, you, you're fa- you confronted with three other mm. things that you could watch instead of ours. Make your yeah. way through those. You'll yeah. find Be Your Own Boss by <laughs> Becky Lucas and Cameron James. Yeah, no and press release about it coming out. No real, yeah, so <laughs> it's been good. It's we terrible. love our ABC. And people think that the ABC is broken. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds fine to me. It'll be on TV on December 11th, though. Yeah, right. On ABC2, or as I call it, ABC Kids Up Late. Mm. It'll be on that <laughs> and at ABC 9.30 is, p.m. And uh, ABC, of course, stands for... <laughs> what does it stand for? Ass, boobs, cunt. <laughs> I think, I think you're in with a shot of getting this pilot up, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, we like it. We think nah, it's we, funny. Yeah, we love it. We, What's the premise? Um, okay, fuck. I think I tried to explain this last time. And I, I couldn't explain it. I'll have a crack. It was yeah, infantile you stages go, okay. then. You, as well. Yeah, you go, Cam. Cause it is a funny show where Becky and I play three sets of characters who all have small businesses within the same regional shopping mall called Pearl Arcade Mm -hmm. and that's the premise so yeah so because Cameron and I used to be obsessed with businesses that tried really hard and were failing like we used to have a thing we would joke about like a frozen did I talk about this frozen yogurt store I it was a so. running joke I mean, that we was, had on Twitter it, for a long yeah. time was that we were running a frozen yogurt store just after the frozen yogurt bubble had burst. Because yeah, our reasoning was, oh, well, it, the fact that they're all closed means that <laughs> there's a gap in the market. Gap in the yeah. market. <laughs> <laughs> and we, I reckon it was like an, a year-long running gag that we sometimes did live as well. And then that is the premise of this, is that they're all shitty small businesses that are like just off yeah. or just... Which is very shy of success. Yeah, which is, seems to sort of connect with a lot of people, especially if you did grow up in in suburbia. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know, just those kind of shitty street green malls. slopes. Green yeah, slopes. green slopes. And there's like a, a shop that I don't know sells statues and calendars. Or... Yeah, they're always the same shop in those shopping arcades. I love them. There's yeah. one that's like clearly just for mums. There's just mm-hmm. The window is chock full of mannequins with scarves and yep. beads and yeah. shit on them, throw pillows. And a, a lot of the shops in the pilot, like the, the arcade that we used to film, had shops that looked like a joke. Like there was yeah. one called The Merchant of Tennis. 
which I, I'm obsessed with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I and then there's like the same bakery in every one yeah. in every one of these shopping centers. There's the <laughs> powerful. <laughs> there is. There's always like a, a, the same bakery, and it's always owned by like a disinterested Chinese man. <laughs> yeah, who yeah. just who doesn't even like. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't, doesn't eat sweets. Doesn't eat and sweets. they've still got the actual signage from the old Civic video on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah big time. There's always an old an old video shop there. The video or... shop turns into a variety store. Yeah. It's still yeah. with the, the yeah. remaining DVDs at the back. Yeah. But I love them. Also, the powerful smell of Vietnamese um, salon. Oh, big time. Nails. Big time. That, that, you get, that's like a third of the way through the mall. You just overcome <laughs> with like industrial strength chemicals. Yeah. It's which the best. It's yeah. almost a marketing technique because the stronger yeah. the smell, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, you get your petty. Petty twi- Maddie. Twice a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know me. <laughs> um, oh, so yeah. we're both a bit obsessed with those kind of malls and the people that work there. And it's not and in a, it's not in like a mean way. There's something quite aspirational about wanting to own your own business mm-hmm. that I think everyone from the suburbs is into. Um, you know, wanting to like, you know, be yeah. your own boss, be like live the Australian dream. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's always at to some level of compromise where it's just not quite right or you're always a little bit in the red or mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know your kids don't respect your shop or whatever <laughs> so that's the, kind of the side of things that, that we like yeah I, 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 yeah I just love people barreling ahead with like wide eyes mm. yeah. you know not accepting failure just being so bad mm. there's it's so many beautiful. people who own their own business who are just really bad at it yeah Could you imagine the poor guy who owns the merchant uh, uh, <laughs> of tennis <laughs> What his kids must go through oh, at school. It's like they were lovely. They let us use their sign in the show. Yeah, and uh, I'm ne- if we ever get to make more of them, I want that to be a, a yeah. key part of the so show. So where was this mall? Huh? Where was it? Yeah, where, where, where was, was it? It was like Beecroft or something yeah. like that. Yeah, right. yeah, and it reminded me a lot of Newcastle. Yeah. Like Newcastle's full yeah. of those arcades. So, the RTA. Oh yeah, exactly. Always an RTA. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe a uh, Golo. Um, sometimes a rebel sport if you're lucky. If you're lucky, yeah. if you're, you're very lucky. lucky, if you're very lucky, yeah, yeah. So that's sort of the premise. Or an old then... games workshop. That's another one. Like board games. <laughs> board games. <laughs> 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 like, yeah. They're like, how have you stayed in business yeah. for real? Like, the the real, the real OG and ones a shit... have a TAB in them. Yeah. Oh, big time. Mm. And a shit shoe place where all the Shitty shoes shoe are place. just like Persian shoes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we were up in Newey the other night. Oh, um, God's obviously, country. Obviously, big inspiration for this pilot that you both worked yeah, on. The land of blood and oak. Yeah, blood and oak. Mm. Vodka, coke, and raspberries. Oh, yeah. Fanny's Nightclub. Fucking big mail. dick, which RIP has been taken down. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. What's it like? I mean, it, the one feeling you get, even in the middle of the day, uh, walking around the Civic theater is that it's a very violent place <laughs> <laughs> i think it's toned down a lot but yeah. it was when i was young there was a lot of glassings yeah, yeah. i reckon i've said this before but i reckon we were the first city to get known for glassing yeah because newcastle was the first city to uh start bringing in plastic, plastic schooner glasses at 9 and stuff. PM, yeah. yeah we were the first one because it was just a thing every week in the paper it was always we got to stop the glassings. Mm. We got to stop it. it. It's a bizarre thing. It's PC it. gone mad. Yeah. It's fucking <laughs> plastic PC, yeah. glasses. PC stands right. for <laughs> fucking daycare. It stands for pussy cunts, by the way. <laughs> it's 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 a it's a very intense thing, and you've got to commit to a lot of admin if you decide to put a glass in someone's face. Why? Yeah, because once they've got to go through that really intricate surgery. <laughs> And you're just up for, like, grievous bodily harm straight away. I know. Although, I know. if I was a microsurgeon, though, I would be kind of, like, quietly cheering. Oh, yeah, <laughs> anytime there like, was... Microsurgeries, like, yeah. There like, are. you know, I, I, I can just keep having kids and they can go to, like, the best schools. I can have a boat. I can yeah. go and play golf as long with as my we surgeon keep, friends. As long as we yeah. keep these bogans angry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, and, and just like, keep the glass lobbyists. coming, guys. Yeah. You know, like, pay lobbyists <laughs> to fight against plastic schooners. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So what's the? Is it still like that? Do they still have? It's definitely cups? calmed down a lot, um, especially because Newcastle was also one of the first places to bring in a lockout as well. No shots. Yeah, no shots. Um, lockout at eleven thirty, and then you can't get in anywhere else after one. So yeah. they really 
that was all started in Newcastle and they brought it to Sydney and all that kind what of about, shit. What there about was no keep Newcastle open, by the way. <laughs> no, no, no groundswell. <laughs> no one really gave a shit. Grassrootsy no, youth movement. No. Nothing. No politicians no. came out. Just keep the steelworks open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got <laughs> bigger problems. Yeah. Yeah. Regional open. depression was a more of a concern. <laughs> no. Keep the keep our uh, veins open. <laughs> But I love it. I always, I'm probably the same way you guys feel when you return home every time you've been away. But I, I love going home. Mm. I feel like a real sense of, I buzz whenever I walk mm. down. King well, it's Street. got that vibe. And the 90s as well. You were a kid in the 90s, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. So you had, yeah. you had the. You had the chair. Big, yeah, big chair. You had the chair. The Jets, Screaming oh, Jets. What did they say? Steel chair and silverware. That's what they had. Because you had, of course, the 1997 uh, Super Bowl. Oh, Grand yeah, Finals, of course, so of course. Brought the silverware Sounds like you're up. lying from mm. being from Newcastle, Cam. Yeah, I've never heard you, that expression before. You never heard that? Yeah. I mean, no, 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 and not, ev- not everyone loves sport. You know, there are <laughs> some should, people. Or silver chair. But <laughs> I was a big chair. Proof big chair. Head. Screaming Jets? Love Screaming Jets. Is that well. more your old man's vintage? That's my dad's stuff. Silver chair was my era, but. A couple of years ago when I was back, Sil- uh, the Jets played the bowling club down the road from mum and dad's house. And I think no one bought tickets, but everyone went. <laughs> everyone just topped the fence and stuff. It was the best. Cam's yeah. dad is a drummer. My dad is a drummer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And an engineer. And an engineer. And a good man. Yeah. Good husband. Good rig. Good dad. Good, good rig. rig. <laughs> nice cock. Yeah. <laughs> nice thick cock. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> So yeah. I've heard. <laughs> anyway, a big news: Cameron and I are buying a Nissan Cube. You're buying a Cube. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going halves in a Cube. Yeah. Why? Well, That's got to be like twenty grand, right? <laughs> Why are you doing that? Um, we just think they look really good. We think they're cute. They're fun. Easy to get around in. You can zip, yeah. zip, zip. You can zip, 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 and and it's good <laughs> to hear laughter from teens. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but they're very like angular, like yeah. they're probably yeah. N- yeah. not that safe for toddlers. You know, I mean, no, I mean, you just put a little bubble wrap around the edges of it, and we're happy to make modifications to the cube. Yeah, and also you, <laughs> you easy to park in a cube because it's the exact same shape as a car park. Yeah, none of this round bullshit. You just slot right in there, yeah. and, and and we love it. Would yeah, you get it lowered. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we could for it's a bit very of low fun, to the know? ground. That's why it's so good because it's it's there for it's accessible to old people and yeah. <laughs> you can put all your groceries in there, you know. We're hoping this car will Uber. take us into old age. Huh? And then you could do Uber. And then you, and, and then you have all these... <laughs> There's a lot of cubes. All, well, do you all know- these young guys just hopping in, hopping in your fucking cube and going, nice car, you fucking spoon. <laughs> do, you know, do you know that's, that's where it <laughs> came from? That's where this whole thing came cube from is I fuck. ordered an Uber and it said picking you up in a Nissan Cube and I walked out. And I, I saw the strangest car I've ever seen in my mm, life. Mm. And I was having a look at it, and the guy goes, oh, Okay, get in, please, get in. Sit he was down. humiliated he was that humiliated. he had to stop for a moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was like, Sorry, just having a look at you. And he's like, Yep, I know. It's a, it's a, it's a weird car. Um, yeah. So anyway, where are you going? And I was like, oh, Just to leave. And he's like, Yep, okay, fine. I saw it. I don't know where we're going. Like, he was so agitated. And then when I got out, the front of my house immediately I started was, laughing at the cube yes, when I saw, he was, so he was like oh great now we're picking up some other yeah, guys that, laughing at that's my his car. whole his whole life is like is because he's used to the cube yeah. but no one else is used to the cube so his whole life is people getting used to the cube but he's like is there actually, a functionality we don't know I, I so looked it up dirt bikes in the back or something I don't know. there must or be like, a purpose but I became obsessed with it and then I looked it up on the internet and I found an essay that this man had written and it was like why the cube ruined my life <laughs> so my, like, my kids friends would laugh at me <laughs> 20 years ago there was the PT Cruiser you know? oh yeah, yeah. Was that yeah. The- which used to ruin lives yeah and, and reputations and used to be the bane of a lot of people's existence and was now you're French fr- bulldog looking car that was a bit probably man you know it, it, it looked like a bathtub I think <laughs> like it had like a really angular mouth on it so it was like oh yes yes, yes. yeah and that was a humiliating on car that one do you know what I think's funny Ugh. is you know when you take google maps or whatever and you can like avoid certain streets or whatever it'd be so funny if <laughs> Nissan Cube People had had it, and just they go can, down the back street. Yeah, they can avoid packs of teens being laughed at. Go away from pubs, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking cube loser. We were we got so obsessed with it that we wrote the cube into the 
script of our pilot that we the <laughs> Shell and Jace, the two of the main characters, were going to have a cube, but we couldn't get one. You yeah. can't rent them. No. no one fucking wants them. No one wants them. <laughs> no one's letting you rent them. You have to buy them outright. And someone who owns it doesn't want to rent it out because they're like, you're making fun of I this, I know, you're you? making fun of my fucking cube, all right? I get it. <laughs> I drive a ridiculous car. <laughs> the Nissan Cube. Now, that was very um, authentic, fluent Japanese you're using, calling it Nissan. Nissan? Yeah, Nissan. Is it, what is it, Nissan? Nissan is how I would say it. Don't look at me. Nissan. <laughs> no, it sounds like um, you spent a bit of time in Japan. Oh, I, I thought Nissan. it was Nissan. Nissan. Mm. Like Nappy-san. Um, oh, I love Nappy-san. I'm obsessed with Nappy-san. <laughs> I've started wearing adult diapers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, just it just helps see. with the leakage and yeah. Uh, yeah. all the milk. I've just been doing full. Well, I thought they were disposable. I'm like, oh, what the fuck are you washing? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I will wear. I just do my pe- my peas P's into it peas. instead of having to go to the toilet, which is so time consuming and frankly boring. I love it on the toilet. <laughs> I just love it in there. No iPad. <laughs> iPad out. <laughs> do you just iPad on, on the toilet? Because that's LinkedIn. a new level. Having your phone in there is a disgrace, yeah, but yeah, everyone does it. If you bring it. an iPad into the Hurt Locker, you're a fucking... You're a real strong cup of cordial, locker, you are. First of all. Fucking- and uh, yeah, 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 you get your iPad out. You just zip through LinkedIn, have a look what everyone's up to. See what other people are doing in their careers. Makes and out like- angry birds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Now, Becky, can you tell us a little bit about... um? In comparison to Newcastle, about uh, Victoria Point, that part mm. of the world, they have a shopping centre down there. They have a Westfield. Mm. What's mm. the closest thing? They got a busway. They don't. Oh well, they didn't have a Westfield when I was growing up there. I actually moved out of there before they got that. Right. I remember when that was just all, like it was just a really shoddy shopping centre. They got a Cineplex. So yeah, it's insane. Like I didn't live there then. All oh, right. Yeah. So you're kind of sleepy after. regional. Yeah. Well, when I first, like, like I lived, there were dirt roads and stuff still yeah. when I was when I was younger. And now it's just like a full booming place. Are there fake canals? Yeah, big time. Hell yeah. Fake canals. <laughs> That's where ex-Broncos players end up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd love to go back. I don't know. I feel very uneasy about the past. I don't know why. Yeah, I hear. Sometimes it just... It took me a long time well, to get comfortable that chick, going back. Well, you killed that chick, so that was the I thing. killed that chick. Yeah. At a, yeah. Down at the... Who'd yeah. you kill? At the quarry. Oh, Wait, I, did you <laughs> kill someone at a quarry? Yeah. I didn't... Ki- well... Did you crush her yeah. skull with a rock? Yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't... I didn't know she was going to die. Right. You so just thought it would be fine I or something? thought it would be funny. <laughs> and it wasn't. Oh, no. Well, uh, it's it's it is. Back to me, it's <laughs> yeah, and it's like, yeah, that you sucks. learn how to be funny, you know, like, you, those early months, yeah. you're still trying Testing it Testing boundaries, yeah. And it wasn't funny, and I'll admit that. <laughs> Well, it's good you've been able to move past that, though. Thank mm-hmm. you. I'm really... Sometimes my anxiety flares up. How big was the rock? Was it like boulders? Oh, massive. Mini yeah. boulder? About a handful. Oh, that's not About really a, a, a B cup, C cup? So you would have had to bash her a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's like four or five heavy hits to the yeah. head. Right. But, um, so after the second one, you went, this isn't funny. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, wait, maybe if I do... Because comedy, like, yeah. often repetition. repetition. Yeah. yeah. And then third time, I was like, one more, fourth... And by then Fourth, it was, this is not funny. This is not funny, and I'm in deep shit. Better, there's only one way to end this. And I legged yeah. it, yeah. yeah, legged it to Brisbane, yeah, Far city, out. Brisbane city. This is so wild. I wish I knew this. Yeah. I don't know, yonks ago. Yeah, I know. It's full on. Shit, anyway, dude, you guys ever done anything like that? <laughs> uh, a lot of people in Batuta have killed people. Yeah, really. Um, For what reason? Jealousy. Opals. We had some empty mm-hmm. barrels. All oh, right, you know, you know, we're just <laughs> pretty close to South Australia. You know what I'm oh, I know what you it's like yeah. Shirt, yeah. Shirting, shirting is cat. It's our closest it's capital is yeah. Adelaide, so yeah, you know yeah, yeah. there are a few people who who like to express their culture from being down south, and they often make yep. people go away and they cram them into a barrel. And yeah. they what do they pour on there? Lime, 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 and that um, dissolves and and two cups living of, tissue of piss, and then they, <laughs> yeah. and then they uh, <laughs> clamp it up shut, and then they roll it down the hill into the gully and then yeah, buried under a above ground pool whoops and then the cops come past and go oh no more paperwork that's the, w- <laughs> that's Admin. the, that's the worst time capsule <laughs> I, I might as well t- <laughs> <laughs> that happened in Newcastle at least you put her in too. some resin we can see yeah. who it was you know? right. that happened uh, I used to work at a um, what's it called like a tuck shop on the beach a for, kiosk. for a summer, a kiosk, uh, fish yes. and chip store, <laughs> yeah, a kiosk. Um, I got a job one summer. This was the cheesiest thing: playing guitar out the front of the kiosk at um, Bar Beach. Was that a job, or you were busking? Uh, I was getting paid by the kiosk. Right. Not much. They gave me a few Coke Zeros and um, 
and like mm. 50 bucks Vanilla to be there Coke. for three hours. <laughs> bit, of, <laughs> bit of flake. Yeah, a bit of flake. <laughs> and I always had a suspicion that the two guys who ran the tuck shop were a couple, but they were both married to other people. I never brought it up with anyone. Years later, I read in the paper that they were a couple and one had killed the other and put him <laughs> in a barrel. No. For real. What? Man, yeah. That's a nice beach. What's with the barrel? Bar Beach. Man? Beautiful beach. That's yeah. like a really fancy beach. Yeah, gorgeous beach. Nice area. Why does everyone think town. a barrel is the answer? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, it, like no, a barrel hasn't been the answer for a long time. No, people, people everyone knows about it. It harks back to a, 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 a simpler, simpler time. time. <laughs> <laughs> when barrels could fix things. Like, in the simple times, we figured out that, like, concrete boots or like tying yeah. someone chaining them to a besser block and mm, them. Yeah. like that's foolproof what's the new yeah. thing what's the new way you maybe send them out into into the into the internet bags, no. apparently. can no. you <laughs> upload someone to the cloud surfboard like bag. Someone... yeah surfboard bags a big one surfboard bag. surfboard yeah but they bag. ended up getting caught so that's probably not the best it's too mainstream mm. when Chappelle did it you know the, the ankle weight didn't hold <laughs> down Rogerson's I won yeah oh no we're getting so dark here concrete um, boots right. how do you get how do you make those well you just pour make a little square you put them in in a bucket. Yeah, in a bucket. When they're unconscious. Yeah. Obviously. Yes, you have to wait for it to Otherwise, dry. they'd be like really yep. off the idea. They'd be like, so come out of here, guys. Yeah, yeah. So you got to hold them up like I a bird. I just like this. <laughs> going, this kick on sucks. Because you you, all of your mates are weird. <laughs> Why is that car idling? What are you doing? <laughs> And then you have to wait for it to dry. That takes what? A bucket of concrete? Yeah. That's, that's, have you got to hold them up or do they sit then, them down? And, and then you got to take them out to the sea and yeah. be, be like, well, this is it. Jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> You're going over the side. Dummy. And he's and his, his, his like, well, I guess there's no talking my way out, <laughs> out of this now. Yeah, and then yeah, you yeah. just go oh, shumo yeah. off the side. But surely you got to oh. knock them out and then put their feet nah, in it. No, they like yeah. to keep them alive. Because no. it's, it's more fun to like watch the fear in someone's eyes, but, as you would know from the quarry. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, but, she was out by the first hit. You know? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Not like after being like concussed like five times in yeah. one day, having the boots on, I'd be fucking begging to be thrown off the boat because mm. you'd have like... It would be so painful. You'd have a headache you'd that not even Charlie Teo could fix. <laughs> yeah. Just like... You'd have a headache get up me the out of here. Yeah. <laughs> And then, and then and let's not forget the probably. pressure of how it must feel having your, your legs in case in Congo. That'd be... Oh, that's be so sucks. painful. It's like having a cast on your yeah. arm times 10. Mm. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> they throw or you in the water. Ice skates, you know, something a bit heavier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big time. Ice skating ring? Oh, the, yeah. Do you ever have any of them in your part one. of the world? Hunter yep. ice skating uh, something. It was called Hiss. People who go Big there more than place. once a year. I think we have one mm. in Acacia Ridge. Brisbane's was in Acacia Ridge. Yeah. Shout people out. go. So the, there's people that go there more than once a year, and I find that's an interesting <laughs> so unit. So weird. It's not fun. You think it's going to no. be fun. It actually just gives you blisters on the mm. back of your... It was a um, year nine, year ten thing where I came from where you'd go on Wednesday night and it was like disco skating mm. and you just go pash people from other schools. That was fun. But that was more yeah. rollerblading for us. Like it'd be Friday uh, okay. night roller skating. Yeah, right. And but yeah, you play limbo. Before it burnt down or where, where, that was at the YMCA oh, in right. Victoria Point. And well, that right. was pretty fun. Play limbo, play Red yep. Rover. yep. That was awesome. I was hooked more, up heaps. You go there, hook up with chicks from Broadmeadow High. It was the best. Yeah. Right. I yeah. hooked up. I kissed so many guys. Yeah, I kissed I so couldn't many even girls. write them all down. Neither. I, I wouldn't write them all down because I'm an no. environmentalist and it would actually take up too much paper. I um, gave my number out a lot, would receive some calls <laughs> from mm -hmm. the chicks that I'd passed and often I'd just give them the cold shoulder. <laughs> yeah. No, it was a so big So yeah, we're both pretty cool. <laughs> we were pretty cool in school. Yeah. There, there are people in the suburbs that play ice hockey. Yes, yes. There are, an, Acacia Ridge has a team, Bankstown mm. has a team, I think. That's an interesting It hobby. is bogan. Mm. To, is it is like, very is bogan for, to want what you can't have. Yeah, like is it like a Canadian expat like, community or is it people that weren't good at the sports they mates are playing so they zoned in on a niche? Yeah, it's so weird. I always think of yeah. that when I met a baseballer, I was like, you were really shit at cricket, weren't you? Yeah. But it's like no no good, like, like Sydney doesn't have an, do we, we don't have like an indoor snow thing, but the Gold Coast does. The Gold Coast is no, like, we're going to build But there are ice skating snow. rinks in Sydney where there are teams and stuff. Yeah. And anytime you ask someone what inspired you to get into ice hockey, it's always the fucking Mighty Ducks. Always. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. It's just Goldberg and the Bash Brothers. Because they, they just want to be in a movie. They don't want to actually play ice hockey. <laughs> do you Apparently, um, move, like shows and movies do influence people's uh, career aspirations. Mm. Like, they can track the popularity of medicine, like with the Scrubs. 
And then again with Grey's Anatomy. Really? CSI was yeah. a big one. CSI, yeah. Apparently there was heaps of people that thought they were going to be like, yeah. like and then, Doom. They ended and then, up just cleaning yeah. up crime scenes. <laughs> 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 they just got the just hosing away blood. <laughs> Coke cola, apparently. Um, Coke dissolves congealed blood. Yes. That's awesome. Apparently yeah. cops use it on the highway <laughs> after a <laughs> Nissan. Just a big two litre. Cube driver, you know, just goes, yep, this is a Shoots telegraph himself while in I'm the taking. <laughs> Got to take this exit. Yep. Blammo. Exit so, to heaven. What, what else is coming up, guys? If, um, we're getting back to homicide again. Uh, what, what else What's is going on? Why are we talking about murder all the time? Um, the suburbs brings it down in you. Yeah. yeah. What, uh, what else is coming up? What have you got coming up? Um, well, we are both in the new Judd Apatow film, mm-hmm. which is cool. Yeah, we oh, haven't that, actually yeah. announced that yet. Okay, so that's based in that's Australia? In, uh, no, that's in LA. Yeah. We're, okay. we're heading over there. Los Angeles. Right. In January to do that. In Jan. Which is exciting. So, I mean, it's, it's obvious it's, there's been a lot of um, press about it, but it hasn't really got a name yet. It's just because no. they're getting... It's untitled. It's, untitled. it's the first one with Seth Rogen and Ferrell. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Oh, those guys are so funny. They're so funny. So, so funny. That's going to um, be huge for us. Yeah. Um, and doing two voices in Toy Story 4. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Nice. Minor characters, obviously. It's yeah. like we're not... Well, Rove, remember? Rove yeah, yeah, was, um, yeah, We yeah, spoke yeah. to Hamish Blake about this. Rove was in Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo as a crab, I think. As a crab, yeah. only in Australasia. Oh, oh, no. He got, bu- he got bumped for the American So it was just other talk show hosts in... Other areas, probably. Tracy yeah. Grimshaw yeah. was in fucking Finding Nemo. Really? Uh-huh. Grimo? Yeah, in the worldwide version. <laughs> what? She, really? No she shit. Grimo went worldwide. <laughs> she was, Tracy um, Grimshaw was She was on Burns in the Great Barrier Reef. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh awesome. And she was looking for a couple of dodgy tradesmen <laughs> in the... Uh, they were tipping asbestos <laughs> into the reef. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And then, That's great. Yeah, well, we're just sort of chasing that Rove dollar, um, yeah. you know, minor characters. And in we're Toy chasing Story Rove. Yeah, we're just, in a we're in a game of um, Chasey right now. We've been him. playing the same game of tag for thirty years <laughs> yeah. with Rove McMahon. <laughs> so you met him thirty <laughs> years ago. <laughs> yeah. Did you say hi to your mum for him? <laughs> <laughs> His legs are very short though, so you should yeah. be able to run him down. Yeah, yeah. 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 We will catch him. Giant dwarf. And when we catch him, <laughs> we will get that rock. <laughs> <laughs> A trusty boulder. A trusty, a trusty rock. <laughs> right. Well, good luck. Good luck with your endeavours to um, buy a Nissan Cube and good luck yeah. with the film overseas thank and the you. pilot. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Back here in Australia. Thanks, and boys. thank you for joining us. Sylvania Waters is beautiful. Let's, um, let's go have a drink. All let's right. Love it. you. Bum- Rosé. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's enough of the general chit-chat this week. We're going to head down the road to the pub and have a few glasses of Rosé. I might even straw pedo a whole bottle, Clancy. What do you reckon? Yes, that's um, that, that sounds like a, a nice way to do it. We saw them doing that down in McLaren Vale and the surrounds of Adelaide when we were down there last week with the show. But uh, yes, we've got two, um, as you are now aware, very hyperactive uh, stand-up comedians to entertain. So we'll catch you next week. Uh, my name's Clancy Overall. You be kind to each other. And my name is Errol Parker. Never talk to the cops without legal counsel present. They aren't your friends. They're out to get you. They're out to ruin your lives. <laughs> <laughs>